<laughs> okay, so let's first start by thinking about gravitational potential, alternatively known as potential energy. So what is gravitational potential? Well, most of you may know it as u equals mgh close to Earth, or as u equals minus g m m over r. So what the heck exactly does this actually mean? Well, remember that the gravitational force according to Newton's laws of gravity is g m m over r squared? Well, the potential energy of an object is essentially defined as the integral of the force exerted by moving that object over the distance that the object traveled. So, from point 1 to point 2, you've got this distance, and we're simply integrating over it. So this is the potential energy. So this is kind of what we know as a line integral. Now, for the time being, we can just set this because it's a very basic integration problem, gmm over r squared dr. These guys, it's the gravitational constant. It's literally in the name. We can treat the two masses as constant since they basically never change, which means we've just got this times the integral of 1 over r squared dr. So then we use the inverse power rule and get that u is equal to gmm times minus 1 over r. So that's the formula for gravitational potential. Now, how does that actually relate to electric potential? Now, electric potential is a little bit different, but as you can imagine, it works off the same principles. So, the electric potential actually defined the same way as the integral, might as well go back since these are technically vectors. So, I mean, if you really want to, you could just put magnitude signs on everything, but uh, whatever. So, we've got this integral right over here, we've got the electric field times some small change. So this is essentially the general difference in uh, this is the general difference in potential from A to B. Now, what do we call a difference in potential? That's right, a potential difference, also known as voltage. And this is what we're going to be focusing on for the next few episodes. So now we've already defined electric potential and if the field we're working in is completely uniform, has the same magnitude and the same direction wherever you go, so that means it's not radial like the electric field of a single charge. This is definitely not uniform. And we've got a uniform electric field like this one. Then the voltage is just the electric field times the distance traveled. I mean, and Okay, there we go. So, that's essentially it. Thank you everybody for watching. Also, I got my first exam back with a 93 out of 100. What do you see? Sand. Imagine if we could look so closely, we could see each grain, each particle. You see there are patterns in everything.